We just started. And now we're quitting. How's it going everybody? Anna Seto here. And I'm Giovanna. We're the owners of Up All Night Inc. We're a local screen printing company down in Southern California. We've been screen printing for about 12 years. Um, if you're interested in screen printing, tutorials, motivation, or any uh, small business tips, like and subscribe to this video. Thank you guys for tuning in today. We are going to speak about when is the right time to throw in the towel. Day in. Day out. We work. You're not a sheep. You're a lion. Stop, 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 stop. stop. Show the cat. Stay tuned till the end and we'll talk about five things to consider before you quit. So for those of you who don't know, we are also owners of a clothing brand called Life Over Death Fitness. And we started that brand for the main purpose of helping save animals. Uh, our main mission with it is to raise money every month with the sales that we make and give back to a local no-kill animal rescue. Um, give back as in funds, uh, food, medical. Uh, we would uh, donate our time. We would go help clean the uh, kennels out. Actually, they had um, surprisingly they had like I think over 60 or 70 cats. So there was a bunch of kennels and litter boxes we had to clean. And I think they have about 30 to 45 dogs. So the dogs had to get fed. Cages had to get cleaned. So you know. Besides just money that we were providing to the, um, the shelter, we provided a lot of you know, hands-on labor. With all the resources that we already had with screen printing and marketing and promotional items, I decided to take fitness and my love for animals, combine them into one, and create a brand that we can help and make a difference with. So we've been doing the brand for a little over two years now. Throughout the two years of the brand, we have learned quite a lot of things. For example, we never actually knew everything that it was required to make a brand. For example, high quality photography, product photography. Uh, it, was, it was definitely a learning curve. You know, I, I come from, you know, when we started doing like decals on race cars and I'd make little videos with GoPros to, you know, now we're we're trying to do full blown photo shoots and you know product type shoots and trying to learn how to use strobes. I'd, I'd never done that before. And you know, uh, we were fortunate enough that um, I don't, we didn't have a studio, but I was pretty crafty. So, you know, uh, all the people who were at us in the beginning, you know, they would, they would come over to my house and I actually had a, a wooden backdrop holder that I made and um, I think our first shoot, there was, there was I think six or seven models that we had, we just had everybody come and there's all the clothes we were, everybody was trying on and modeling for us and um, it was a hot mess. <laughs> it, it went well, but it was it was just wild trying to keep, you know, everybody kind of entertained and energized for the shoot and then me, you know, trying to make sure I knew what I was doing and everything was in focus and the lighting and it was, it was definitely a, a learning curve. With us being such a small brand, it was also very hard for me to be able to find a good source when it came to fitness apparel. Because a lot of brands like to start off with just t-shirts and hoodies, which was, is what we did, but we wanted to branch further than that and provide leggings, shorts, um, athletic wear, actual athletic wear that you can wear in the gym. And we, I learned that that stuff's not cheap. Another thing too was we didn't even think about marketing, how we needed to learn how to market besides just our close friends and family. Yeah, because when, when you start a brand, you know, there, there is brands out there that have been successful, just they post on Instagram and their brand blows up and it was kind of, that was 
in the beginning what we were kind of banking on you know i just i knew how to shoot good videos and stuff like that so you know like you guys saw earlier in this video you know we took a bunch of fitness guys that i knew and we went took them to the gym we did a little montage with them wearing the gear you know to try to promote the products but marketing is is a whole different animal and you start getting into you know facebook marketing and building audiences and stuff it, it was just it seemed like every day was a new rabbit hole we were going down trying to figure out how to market this product because we knew we had a great product it's just you know trying to communicate that to the masses that's where the real challenge is also having consistent content on instagram yes. on facebook on just in general it's it's a lot of work and you don't even think about these type of things until you are involved and then you start realizing, oh, I gotta do this, oh, I gotta do that. It's, it's a lot of work and it was definitely a lot of stuff that we had to learn on the fly. Yep. We didn't know something, we would research it and we would do it ourselves. So one of, the, one of the hardest pills to swallow and if anybody out there is starting a small business, you know, is it's kind of crazy because you can you can have a mission you know which ours was helping animals and stuff you have an amazing product you know like we had but at the end of the day the sad reality is like no one cares you know and that that's that's kind of a hard pill to swallow and that this kind of goes back on to the marketing thing is you, you kind of have to show people why they should care and what you're about and that's that's where marketing marketing to me at, at first was just you know like oh we could just post this you know and people would see it but you have to start thinking about as in building a community because you know there was you know inferior products and not even fitness related but just other products you know that we saw blowing up and we we're like Dude, this doesn't make sense you know like how are these people doing it and they're you know their stuff's growing exponentially but you, we, you would see it was the community that they were building with people so you know, it, it didn't matter, you know, it doesn't matter the, the, how great of a mission you have and how great of a product you have, you really have to get the people involved and engaged in what you're doing and what you're about and that's what you need to work on communicating your product to people. So when we first got our keys to this building or brick and mortar for our printing business, which is completely separate from our clothing line business, we started growing quicker and quicker each month. I started getting busier and busier, uh, more clients, new clients, returning clients, and I totally didn't even think about the fact that a lot of the times you start growing clients and those clients keep coming back and it's just a revolving like snowball that just comes after you and it's just growing and growing bigger and bigger and bigger. You're like, oh crap, like I didn't even think this was gonna happen and it did, which is great for the printing business, but now we're having trouble also managing the clothing brand and everything that it takes to keep that successful and going. Yeah, with with Up All Night Inc., uh, you know, that's we, we do our custom printing and stuff. And then we had Life Over Death Fitness, which was our fitness brand. But the, the thing about me specifically was I also still work a nine to five. So, you know, I, I work yeah. over at Lockheed. So my days would basically go like this. I, I wake up every day at three in the morning, you know, I start work at four, I get off at 1.30 and then I would come to the studio, you know, I'd be here at like two o'clock, I'd, I'd help with printing and orders, but I also did the photo video on the side. So there was clients I'd have to go on photo shoots, you know, I'd have to be editing a video for somebody or editing photos. And then it's like with all of that, then we still had to find time to, you know, pick out the new, um, the new gear that we were going to have for the new launch for life or death and we had to you know make sure we got all our labels we had to make sure we you know things were in stock because with you know with covid that was a whole nother yep. hassle is you know in inventory and they would say it was in stock and then like we wouldn't get it you know and we would already have like taken pictures of like the couple samples that we got and we're already like full-fledged marketing that and then we realized like oh we're not even gonna get the product so then we'd have to really quick you know switch so i mean on on saturdays sundays you know everybody's hanging out, having fun on the weekend, and we were literally here all day doing shoots, editing photos, doing videos, then editing the videos, and then trying to post all day, and then, you know, trying to meal prep and do everything at the house, and then, oh, well, now we have the orders of screen printing we have to keep up, and it just, it started getting to the point where 
everything was suffering, you know? I was, everything. I was always tired at work, you know? And then even when I would come back, it was like, I wasn't taking a lot of photo video jobs because I was just, I was so burnt out with everything. I, I would try to avoid the work, you know? And then with the brand, you know, I would, I would just want to get things done. So, you know, us being the perfectionists that we are, like I wasn't editing the, vi the photos and the videos to the quality that I wanted. Cause I just, oh, I just want it done. I just want it done. So with him being really busy and really overwhelmed with everything he was already doing, I had to take over the brand and pretty much do everything myself. I had to pick the new collection. I had to order the new collection. I had to print the new collection. I had to tag the new collection. I had to, to do everything to the collection up to the point that he needed to book the photo shoots. And then after he did the photo shoots, I took those those pictures back and I added them to the website, how to do the descriptions, how to do the measurements, how to do the, how to do the, um, the email blasts, the customer service, you know, it was, it was a lot. And I feel like a lot of people do not realize all those things that you have to do when you start a brand. A lot of people just think, oh, I'm just gonna sell some t-shirts and sweaters and everybody's gonna buy them. Sad truth is that nobody cares. There's only so many times that the same person is going to buy your product. Now, now with that, we do thank every yes. single person who has supported the brand and supported what we're about. And um, so with heavy hearts, that kind of brings us to the point of we're actually going to stop life over death fitness. No. Yes, I know it's terrible, but I hate I hate that we're saying it because <laughs> it's, it makes it official now. Yeah, it's it's been a hard pill for us to swallow this year because you know we we've, we've put so, so much and a couple years into this, but the thing that we have to look at is everything's suffering. My photo, my video, it's not doing that great because I'm just I'm so burnt out on everything. I suffer at my regular job because I'm just miserable because I'm always tired. And then even with Up All Night Inc., you know, it's it just seems like we're running around with our heads cut off because there's too many things that are going on. Yeah, so. like juggling um, my customers and my client base, it just keeps growing and the brand and making sure that the brand is sustaining itself and keep on going, like it's, it's too much for me to do on my own or even together and at the end of the day it's just him and I and we're not superheroes like we can't do everything sadly sadly but you know that you know that brings me to my next point is you know and it's kind of the whole point of this video is knowing like you know everybody oh don't be a quitter this yeah. and that and it's like you know we went out and we did what we wanted to do we went out and we started a brand and it's like we have seen how much work it takes and what you have to do to be successful in that industry. And we just, you know, we realized that that's not in the cards for us right now. You know, we've been running this screen printing and stuff, you know, for over 12 years now. And th that has been our dream. We finally got a building. We finally have multiple presses, you know, by the end of this year, we're going to be hiring people. So it, it was kind of one of those decisions, you know, what was, what was more important to us was, you know, keeping our screen printing alive. We've been doing over a decade or this brand. Now with that, you know, it, it comes back to the why of why we started Life or Death Fitness and it was to help the animals. You know, that was, that was our big goal and that still is to this day. And so that's why we've decided with Up All Night Inc. that we're gonna be taking 10% of our profits here and still contributing to the, uh, the animal rescues. Yeah, because at the end of the day, that was the point and that was what I wanted to do and the main reason why I started the brand. So now that the printing is doing well, why not do it with the printing now? So we, we want to say thanks, you know, if you've made it this far into the episode, we know this has kind of been a long one. So we're going to basically talk about five things you should consider before you quit. And the number one being, you know, what do you have to gain by quitting? You know, um, are you going to have more time to spend on, on better things? And I'm not talking about quitting just so you can watch Netflix or sit on the couch or relax at the house, which keep in mind, you know, there is times where, you know, we got to take mental health days and that's, that's not what I'm talking about right now. I'm just talking about, you know, 
going after what you want. And you know, if, if quitting something to put more time into what you actually want out of life and it will better your life, you know, I would say go for it. The other big thing to consider, you know, is why did you pursue this in the first place? You know, were you trying to help people? Were you trying to change the world? Were you trying to lose weight? And you know, usually coming back to your why is, is kind of the biggest navigator when it comes to, you know, if you should quit, if you should go harder. One big thing to think about is if everything feels overwhelming, that, you know, no matter what you do, no matter how many hours you put in, no matter you know what your efforts are and the connections you're trying to make, if everything is just like crumbling around you and overwhelming, it might be time to throw in the towel, you know, go educate yourself some more, refocus, and come back at things in a whole different way. And it might, you know, develop into a whole different project or idea than what you were originally going after. The other thing to consider is what you're working on right now and what you're spending your time on, is it keeping you uh, away from other opportunities and things that could better your life even more or is it you know your project literally damaging to your well-being are you know you getting more depressed and tired is your health declining because of this project that you just seem to not be able to let go you know and and for us that you know that was the case as we explained with life over death you know it was, uh, our whole why did we do it you know to be able to help the animals and realizing yes us quitting the brand like it sucks, but at the same time, with the printing and how well that's going, we're still able to support our why of, you know, helping the animals. So one thing, you wanna make sure that you're identifying the cause of your unhappiness in your situation. You know, is it you're working, you know, too many hours? Is your health declining? You know, um, you, you basically need to find out the real issue and see if it is something you should quit and again this goes back to you know are you just lazy you know do you just want free time so you know we can you know order takeout and just sit on the couch and binge watch some more shows now the last the last point and kind of the biggest point that we want to make is you know there is a good side to every situation you know you basically need to find it and kind of whip discouragement with it and what i mean by that you know is again with with our situation, you know, it, it, it does suck. Like we, we close the brand and some we put a lot of time, effort and energy into, but at the same time, we know that everything else in our life and everything else that we're doing is going to grow stronger because of this. And to circle back again to our why is we're still gonna be able to help the animals. And at the same time, who knows, you know, once we start hiring people, you know, and um, things kind of smooth out a little for the business, you know, the brand could be something that comes back again, later in life when we're more prepared and more focused to you know, take on that challenge now that we know what it actually takes to make it a reality. So one big point we really want people to take away from this video that they understand is that um, we are still going to keep the Life Over Death uh, website up. We still have a ton of inventory. We're basically just gonna start putting everything on sale until it sells out and that money is still going to go to the animal rescue so as far as our instagram you can still see the the progress of that and with these youtube videos you know we'll, we'll talk a little more you know every, every once in a while what's going on with that all right guys well we just want to thank you guys for uh tuning in again um this is our second episode uh, we didn't really broadcast the first one a lot it was a little cringy so if you want go back and uh watch that one and all the embarrassing uh, moments <laughs> we've had. <laughs> yeah, I hope that we weren't as cringy this time. I know that as, the more that we do these, like the more relaxed we're gonna be and hopefully the more you'll stick around. Um, you can follow us on a ton of places. Our website for the printing is upallnightinc.com. Uh, That's our website. Uh, Instagram, it's upallnightinc. Facebook is upallnightinc. And again, if you want to support the brand still, it's uh, Instagram is Life Over Death Fitness and the website, same thing, lifeoverdeathfitness.com. And um, yeah, keep killing it, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that like button and we will see you next time. Hell yeah. <laughs>